G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today we have the 2022 season predictions. Cooks and out, Danoon here. Noonie, how are you mate? I'm feeling great, feeling great. I feel like I'm home. Uh, Roger, how are you feeling about this year? Oh, I reckon I've come pretty much dead last in every prediction I've done, so I'm keen to try and not embarrass myself this year, but I'm feeling quietly confident. And Van Gams has been a long time between drinks, but you're back on the channel. How are you feeling? I'm good. I think we didn't do one last year, did we? You no. did it by yourself. Yeah. You didn't do one. Oh. Oh, oh, I forgot about it. It's a whole Gaunty yeah, head. Yeah. All Gaunty <laughs> head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's tip the Premier. Who wants to go first? No, I'll, I'll go first just because I tipped it last year in about March as well. It's the Demons back to back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, they're only getting better, I would have thought. I don't think they're on the decline, are they? Looney, are the Cats? Do they have oh. one more in them? Last dance style. As much as I want the, the hoops to win the flag, and look, I think we'll be around the bounce there again. I think the D's, but I also think that your, your mob Dutchie's a fair share too in the, in the lines. Mm. Yeah, I, I've, oh. gone, I've gone along the same lines. Yeah. I've been a pretty pessimistic sort of supporter, but we've had a, a, a few good years, and now that core group of players are getting ready. And we'll get what, what do you do without Hipwood? Um, yeah, I forgot he wasn't playing. Did we stay? Charlie Cameron won out in the 50. <laughs> so, just to confirm, did Dill take it upon himself to tip two teams? Are they yeah, no, no, calling the no. double to start off? I don't well, think he quite understand how the game well, 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 <laughs> well, if I was in the little green tab right now, I would tell him. There's no rule saying you can't just put on one thing. All right. It's very hard to do, but I'm going to back the D's in for the flag. Oh, I'm, well I'm very uh, pessimistic about my football club, but I feel like I'm going to look like a bit of a goose rocking up to the season predictions after they've won the flag and not tipped them. I feel like that's a bit disingenuous, so I'm going to back the D's in to go back to back at the G. No COVID, we're going to do it at home this year. Good on you, Goody. Stay off the source, brother. <laughs> All right, the next thing we're going to predict is the 2022 top four in order. Ooh, was, in order. In order. Ooh, that's a bit of a scanner in me. I just thought, you know, it was just the box, box first four. <laughs> <laughs> in any which order. It's in order now. I'm going to go. I actually have a firm belief. Cattles will finish top just because we. Wow. <laughs> just no, not, not because. <laughs> hey, we, we, we've, we've done it. Two, I think we've done it like two times in the last four years. I think it'll be Cattles, D's, Tigers, Brisbane, top four. Uh, my top four, the Demons obviously on top. In second, I've got the Swannies. I just love what they do, and I think they're just going to elevate even more <laughs> under the horse. Uh, third place is the Brizzy Lion, and fourth place, just sliding a little bit, is the Doggies. Well, sliding, that's an improvement of last. Oh, is it? Well, they finished fifth. Yeah. They finished fifth. So. Well, uh, the side upwards, the upwards <laughs> side. Oh, reverse. <laughs> yeah, reverse uh, line. Uh, ben uh, Gams, what's your top four? Uh, I've gone the Doggies top, the D's Lions, and a Smokey the Giants. I, think oh, I reckon the Giants are a sniff to improve. Oh, uh, well, I thought Giants. Yeah. And, uh, I think totally the Dogs crazy. as well are going to have a very, very good year. I reckon the Lions will finish on top. I've gone the D's second with the home final. Yeah. No shame in finish second. I reckon the Dogs will still be up there in third. And then I've gone the Swans as well. I reckon yeah. the Swans will jump in the top four. But once again, none of us have really picked the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mate, we, we are off them. Your scarf's still in the river over the edge. <laughs> we ate them. The next thing we are going to predict is the wooden spoon. Now, I famously tipped the bombers last year and copped it. Uh, so be careful who you put because you might cop it. Mate, I, I'm happy to load this. <laughs> North Melbourne. That would be back to back wooden spoons. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And I would nearly put the I'd nearly put money on it from the code. Bottom two uh, in 2023. Hudden Street are a shambles. I believe in David Noble. I, I, I oh, I've got his bill. Oh, so Lord Francis isn't going to provide anything. Go to Tassie. Go to Tassie. <laughs> I'll go uh, Melbourne Spooners. Sadly, I, I wish I wasn't saying the Gold Coast. Like, I just think with, with Ben King going yeah, down, yeah, the yeah, ACL. Yeah. That's franchise in the balance, yeah, well, I reckon. Yeah. If that's Has he played his last game? Oh, yeah. he has. Absolutely. Yeah. I've gone somewhere a little bit different. I did have North Melbourne, but uh, I made it, I throw Collingwood out there. I think oh, 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 they, they've got they're very their players at the top end are very good. Darcy Moore, Brody Grundy, Pendlebury, but I think maybe fall away a little bit after that. And um, yeah, I sort of just didn't want to pick Gold Coast or North Melbourne. I've <laughs> also gone the pies. The team got back. And I am fearful because the Essendon faithful came for me last year <laughs> and the Collingwood faithful, they're a little bit bigger in, uh, yeah. in numbers. Yeah. So you it's know, just a little worrying. If the pies sneak into a top eight, there could be 
blood spilled. I think two years ago I did the past and finished one spoon and I heard plenty about it. That was the year they made the great fight. Yeah. <laughs> that was 2018. Well, they can't do that. They're the yeah. team people love to hate though, and I don't mind those. The next thing we're going to predict is the rising star, and this is a major saving pace a little bit. I want to kick things off. I thought we'd pick Dacos, so Kai's fans. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I've done the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> He's maybe one of the only sort of players that I knew the name of. So, but I think with them being so bad, he'll obviously play a lot and they'll yeah. play bulk midfield minutes. So I think that'll help his case. Yeah, uh, I'll be backing in someone who's already got a little bit of experience behind him, not walking in playing day one. Billy Smith? Uh, I'm going... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> not Billy Smith. I'm going uh, Logan McDonald. I think... Cause cool. I've tipped Sydney to make the top four and I think it'll be largely off the back of big Logan McDonald taking the next step and kicking plenty of sausage rolls up in front of goal for him. I've, uh, I've gone a little left field. I was thinking that people are going to be probably guessing the day cost in the Horn France. So I'm going uh, Tom Ward from Northall. I was actually, Woody. I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole the other night when I, when I got posed the question. <laughs> I heard good things from Robert Harvey. I think, heard good things from Sam <laughs> Chil- Not personally. Personal not, 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 not personally. Not, not personally um, but just I saw a bit of his highlights and I think yeah, he can crack in under a, a good midfield driven coach there. So Tom Ward from Hawthorne for me. Now we're going to do the 2022 Brown Low medalist. The biggest prize in football. Other than the Division 2 Reserves NFNL Coaches Award, obviously. <laughs> uh, got a lot of letters that week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you and I had the blessing of going down to Icon Park and having a kick of the football with a few of our best mates down there. Yeah. Um, Tommy Mitchell being one of them. But there was a cut figure there. There was a prime, a man who looks primed to win a Brownlow medal. And let me tell you, it wasn't S. Walsh. I predicted last year that Sam Walsh would overtake Cripper as Carlton's best footballer, but I now predict after seeing how fit Cripper will, Cripper <laughs> overtakes Walsh again, and you'll see that man catapult himself back into Brownlee contention. Is, is Cripper back on this year? He's again? back on, man. He looks trim. He looks smart. Super back up again. Um, <laughs> P. Cripps wins the Brownlee this year. I've gone someone who got who polled a lot of votes last year in not the most successful. So I've gone Jack Steele. Oh, Steele! So he polled 26, oh, la- 26 last year, and I don't. I think Saints got. One more level to go. And I reckon the Saints have had another level to go for about 15 years. Yeah, and they've had never quite there. met. Uh, I think I've said the same one for about every prediction we've done, but Bond. you say, yeah, I've gone, I've gone with the Bond again. I think he's probably in that last little bit of those elite players that haven't quite won one yet, and it'd be disappointing for him not to win one, yeah. I think, in his career. He'll be a Pendles, I reckon. Right? Just yeah, never win one. Probably showing a little bit of bias here. I reckon Clayton Oliver has another gear to go to. Won the uh, AFL Coaches Award. Some say that that's one of the uh, pinnacle awards in the competition. Mm. He's a three-time best of first, two-time All-Australian, and I just think he's apparently tearing up the track. The next thing we're going to predict is the 2022 <laughs> Coleman medalist. The Darty Party. Not the Barty Party, the Darty Party. <laughs> Big Jezza Cameron. <laughs> the, man, the man at one point last year, after about... Oh, I think it was about eight games of him actually playing. Was already about six in the cold, not far off. Mm. He missed a lot of footy last year. Gets a fresh start. I hear he's good and fit, ready to go. He's had a nice, relaxing off season, fishing, gaming. Darty man, Jez Cameron. Uh, Mike Coleman. I mean, if he's won the Coleman last year, and we're only going to get better, and I reckon he's still a few years away from his absolute peak prime. You can't look past Harry Mackay. Uh, Three dollar short price favourite on sports bet, but I reckon jump on the gamble responsibly. Can you lay anyway? <laughs> um, and I think Charlie Kerner coming back will only help him uh, help his cause. Um, I've backed in noon, and I've gone Jeremy Cameron as well. I, I thought you thought Jeremy yeah, was going to win it. <laughs> I, I, I did win one in the, the three other 16s for the hour. I have seen <laughs> Noon tear the comp apart, especially against the Torquay 2s back then. <laughs> You're in the body! Uh, I've gone with maybe a bit of a malign player. Oh. I still think the Tigers will be very good this year, and I think maybe it's time for Tom Lynch to have a big yeah. ah, yeah. contract. I think Rewell, uh, sort of getting older, moved to a sort of different role, and yeah, I think he could have a big year. Think about the Tigers, they, just, they get goals from anywhere, though. That's the hardest thing. Alright, I'll change it. Let's get into the surprise All Australians. Now, I never get this right, but I I don't get the criteria right, and I don't think I've got it right this time. But, oh, I, still, no. but, I, still, his own <laughs> but I still feel like they're technically surprises, but anyway, I'll go last. You're, you're, uh, you're yeah, back in Gorney to go All Australians. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you going to Roddy? Uh, well, funny you say, Gorney. Um, I think he is a Premier Ruckman in the competition. 
But I, I'm, let's just say he gets an injury or su- uh, suspended for a little while or something. Oh. I've got big Sam Draper. He's gonna. He's ready to. Take I had that first. Draper. Right? Yeah. 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 I think the big Draper man. I'm sure he does. Ready to take the game apart. I heard during the week that um, he rode his own tap out of the centre, straight forward, kicked a goal from 50, then did a little cheeky sue as a celebration, <laughs> and that's good enough for me. So the Draper man must surprise all Australians. It's a hard question for me. So I've got a couple of names. I'm going to nail them. Uh, yeah. Multiple yeah. choices. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can, can, I, can, can, can I share what my uh, my planning thought was and then that one? Right? Yeah. So I've gone Zach Bailey from the Lions. I reckon he's a gun. I've got Sam Taylor from Jetta West as a defence. I've also got Jack Henry from Geelong in defence now. We'll just pick the whole competition, will we? I've also went a bit of Rowan Marshall from St. Rowan Marshall? But I'm going to go, my, my one I'm sticking with is Zach, Zach Bailey I like from it. the Lions. But they're all like sort of very good players. I reckon Zach Bailey. I don't reckon that's a surprise. No, no. I reckon that's I can, just. I, I, I reckon Zach Bailey will not a surprise. I reckon right. that's like picking like a Christian Sailor, like a player. A who good player, take a big step. Gone for a redemption story, maybe. Yeah, the criteria of surprise, maybe, maybe not. I've gone Cornelio. Oh, that is a surprise. That's a big surprise. That's a massive well, surprise. It's just, Mate, I've gone people who haven't gone all the time. Cornelio's pretty good. But he's finished. He's not. It's a surprise. You were all surprised. I like that thinking. I've gone down the same path as Dutch. A redemption story. I reckon this is a surprise. Apparently he's had a big pre-season. He's dropped a lot of weight. He's looking as fit as he's ever looked before. I reckon Brody Grundy could make the Australian. Surprise! surprise. <laughs> he's in the top two, three record in the competition. No, You've got it. Pick another one. one. Go on, Nick Nat, Darcy. Try again. Can you run your page correctly? He picks it up. Try again. So you, if Brody Grundy came out. Oh, you get ripped off for Zach Bailey. Out, yeah. out, and you out, and out the second best. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of all around. Who, who did you go again? But for two years, he's um, been. Sam Draper. Right, he, so he, he's been nowhere near it for two years. It's not a surprise. I would say, I would say nowhere near it. Out of base is a very bad team. Well, you've gone the most extreme. I would be second. <laughs> you guys are gone, honestly, already. I knew, I knew, I knew it would bring controversy. Actually, before I had written down Sam Draper, my surprise um, was a bit of Christian Petrarca. <laughs> I thought he might have really, really <laughs> taken the game by the scruff of the neck this year. My second one. Uh, it might not meet the criteria, <laughs> but um, this man, <laughs> no, it, it certainly doesn't. Um, Cam Rayner coming up with <laughs> Oh, well, that's better. That's, that's cool. Better. Better. I'll write that. Oh, but another one. Oh, I don't I think, think he's, he's going to have a year. Yeah, yeah, coming back from a year out, yeah. I think that's more than a fair He's going to affect Zach Bailey. Right, the last thing we are going to predict is a headline that we'll see throughout the 2022 AFL season. I reckon, and uh, sorry for all those in the northern state, but I think Gold Coast uh, mass exodus and exit competition. So, wow. Uh, so it may not be immediately this year, but I think Gold Coast will have an exodus of players, Ben King's off, they've been the wooden spoon again. The discussion will start this year that maybe they're better off relocating or getting folding work together than in the next couple of years. I've like. got one that sort of follows on from Rogers maybe if the Gold Coast were to leave. I think uh, 2023 could be the year for an expansion to an anti-vax team, maybe. Well, we've well, yes. already got a few key yes. players in there, so That's we've got great. we've got Darling up front, we've got uh, <laughs> <laughs> Liam Jones down That's back, we've got Jed Anderson in the middle. You got some good fillers. And uh, I reckon maybe they could go to Canberra. There's a bit going on there at the minute. They're on the way to Canberra and uh, they'd get <laughs> they'd have, they'd have so plenty of fans. Do the free old West Coast always just have to travel in more to play? <laughs> <laughs> the headline that I reckon we'll see. <laughs> and Roger might be excited about this. I think the Carlton Football Club will host a home final this year. Get around the big blues. Got to finish Ooh. Six, six, okay. six, lovely. Gee, exciting times. I we have to, don't we? We have no option. Yeah. Like we, what's he? <laughs> I think if you're one and four at the start of the year, Vossie, the big call might be Vossie puts on the blues jersey. And goes yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> that is it for Ooh. another season predictions. Comment down below if you think we had some right. Comment down below if you think. We had some wrong. Thanks for joining us for this, lads. Thanks for joining me for the predictions. Pleasure. Thanks for having us. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone watching, and we'll see you all very, very soon for some more content. Cheers. Be nice, there, kids.